to another video. I hope you're doing well today. I am excited about today's video. I went to Walmart last night and I got some really good stuff. So I'm going to share with you a Walmart shop with me and, <laughs> and a Walmart haul on some of the things that I got. Oh my gosh. Y'all, he is like, <laughs> I want to show you how big he's gotten. Knox, come. Knox, look how big he is. Y'all, he's a baby and he's just the sweetest thing I've ever seen. He loves my hair. What? Oh, him's adorable. He's just a big. <laughs> Dog, y'all see how big this boy is? He's gotten so huge. I know you're not biting your mother. <laughs> I love you. It's that day. He said, put me down. <laughs> huge. But anyway. Yeah, we're gonna get into the haul, or actually we'll go shopping. I'll share with you some footage of me shopping. And then um, all the stuff that I ended up getting, I'll share that too. As soon as you walk into Walmart, all you see is a pool galore at our store right now. It is getting hot here and everyone's preparing for summer. Um, so if you are in the market for a pool or anything outdoor related, now's the time to start shopping for that before it's all gone. I don't know about y'all, but our Walmart sells out of pools and <laughs> everything so quick. Um, I remember last year, I ended up buying my pool like right after Christmas because I knew that if I didn't, they were gonna be sold out by spring. And sure enough, they were and the prices skyrocket. So make sure that you're out there getting whatever you need for the summer. Now I finally made my way to the home decor aisle. Now I always like to take a look at the lamps and see if there's any on sale. And this happened to be the only one on clearance for $54, but I grabbed it because I thought it was super unique and super so pretty and I absolutely love it um, and then over here in the little decor section they have shelves vases greenery small little knickknacks all kinds of good stuff now if Walmart is your only option for home decor in your area I feel like you could really do a great job at decorating your whole space just using Walmart items on a budget um, however just keep in mind that a lot of these items that you can see here you can get for a fraction of the price at like TJ Maxx, Bell's Outlet is one of my go-tos. I love Bell's Outlet. Um, also thrifting. Don't forget to thrift, you guys. Go buy secondhand. You would be so surprised how much money you can save if you just walk into like a Goodwill or even like a Salvation Army, places like that where you can buy secondhand and do a quick little flip on something and you can make it new again for a fraction of what you would spend at a big box store. So always keep that in mind as well. And speaking of thrifting, I plan to go pretty soon because I'm on the hunt for an old clock. I wanna find something that is a little bit more on the antique side. I really like the shape and the color of this one. Um, it just wasn't quite big enough for what I wanted. And I really like this one too, but it was a little too big and a little too modern for my taste, but it was nice and a great price as well. And then over here in the lighting department, I wanted to show you because this pendant light right here with the little wood base right there at the bottom, $29.94, this is a great deal. If you are building a house or looking to update your pendant lights, I thought those were really nice. They look really similar to the ones I have um, in my house currently. Our Walmart got new bedding in. I don't know if this is new in your area too, but they finally updated our store and I thought these lighter colored comforter sets were really, really beautiful. It's like you get that Pottery Barn look on a really tight budget. So definitely check out Walmart if you are in the market for a new comforter set. They had other colors as well. They had like a really pretty light green and also a green that has like a pretty floral print on it. I was definitely impressed with some of the bedding that they had. Like this one right here, I love this so much. I want to get it for my daughter's bedroom. I thought this was just beautiful with all the wildflowers on it. They had pink comforter sets and they also had this beautiful silk set. Oh my gosh, it was just stunning. But then I also went ahead and took a look at some of their glassware. They got all new stuff in. This one was one of my favorites. I'll definitely be going back. All right, I got a lot of stuff to show you. So we're going to start with this planter. Just because I have like a lot of little stuff shoved into it, just so it was easier to carry into the house. But I got this Better Homes and Gardens Wayland Planter. So this is what it looks like. This is a better picture. It's a little bit bigger. Um, now I got this because I really want to start incorporating more house plants in here because I just like house plants. I've been really into them, and somehow magically I just like develop some type of green thumb, and all my plants are like thriving. <laughs> so it's exciting. And you know what's crazy though? 
Houseplants that are safe for dogs are so hard to find. I was on my phone for like 30 minutes in the garden center, like Googling all these plants and none of them are safe for dogs. And Knox is at this stage right now where he's eating everything, so I can't risk it. The only thing I could find was this palm that was safe for dogs. So that's what I got. So I got that and then this planter, which I think will be really cute to put like over here by the uh, pantry, just kind of bring some like life to the space. Um, and then I got a box of light bulbs because we always need light bulbs. And I like the soft white. For filming and stuff like that, I like to use my bright white light. But just like in general, my lamps and things like that, I want them to be warm light. I love just the cozy feel. It's not like blinding. So I got these 40 watt, this is a pack of four, soft white LED bulbs. I also got two of these Fire Sentry smoke alarms. Um, so we needed some smoke alarms in the house and the one that we have, I feel like is, is super old. Um, it was time to update it. So I ended up getting the two pack of, these are the micro profile design. So it's not, they're not huge, obviously. It's like a small little box and I like this. So I'm gonna put one at the end of the hallway and one right here in the kitchen. And then got a new thermostat. This one, I think this was $24, so very inexpensive, just a basic thermostat. I don't need anything fancy. Um, I know they have all kinds of awesome thermostats that you can program to your phone. You can even hook up to, you know, like a Google and Alexa. I don't wanna say it too loud because she listens really well. But um, I don't need all that. We just need something basic. We just control ours right from here. So anyway, I just got the Honeywell Home um, non-programmable thermostat. Easy to redesign, very basic, and my husband said that I could install this myself, so we shall see. <laughs> I'm gonna probably end up calling him and being like, I can't do it! Next up, I got a black little extension cord. This is just so that way I can run some electric to the built-ins. I wanted it to be black so it would kind of just be like blended in with the black bookcase. Um, currently, we have like cords kind of hanging everywhere, so I wanted to just kind of tuck this up behind the books, so that way we had a spot to plug in like a lamp, and things like that so I got that and I'm still holding this planter and it's all hung up in my shirt but I really love this planter I'm so excited to put this together with my palm tree I got the Clorox toilet bowl lid toilet seat lid whatever same thing um I needed a new toilet seat lid for an our, our bathroom ours has gotten scratched up if y'all remember I actually replaced the one in the front bathroom and I shared a whole video on that <laughs> like replacing it if you've never replaced a toilet seat it's just super easy I don't know why but I was always intimidated to change a toilet seat I don't know but it's really really easy to do it's super simple you don't even really need any fancy tools just like a basic screwdriver and your hand that's it so got a new one for our bathroom and this one was cheap at Walmart. I spent way too much money on the one that I got from Lowe's. And I didn't realize, I love shopping at Lowe's. I shop there all the time. And sometimes it's like, do you ever buy things just like out of convenience so that way you don't have to go to another store? That's kind of what happened there. I knew it'd probably be cheaper at Walmart, but it's like you're already there. By the time you get in the truck, drive over there, get out, get inside. You're gonna end up finding other things. So it technically probably saved me money to just buy it at Lowe's when I was there. But it's like $4 cheaper buying it from Walmart instead. So if you're in the market for a toilet seat lid, check Walmart before you go to Lowe's or Home Depot. They're much, much cheaper. Or even Amazon, I'm sure has them. But I got that. And in a previous video, I believe I was at Walmart and I shared this bowl and I was like in love with it when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And I, I honestly, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's just, it, I love the look of this. I love the color of the wood. It's just stunning. I'm gonna try to use this on my built-ins just as like a decor piece. I think it's just a perfect staple for anyone's decor stash. So I ended up grabbing that. Um, like I said, it was just one of those things that when you see it, and you like it and then you go back and it's still there and you see it again and then I've been to Walmart like four times and I keep seeing this bowl I'm like I'm gonna get that bowl <laughs> so I finally got it all right so the last couple things I got was this little lamp now I have actually been wanting to get one of these lamps for a while they're really inexpensive at Walmart it's like eleven dollars and they come with the lampshade too so you can't beat it but whenever I actually just recently watched 
Kelly's video. If you don't follow Kelly yet, we, I've talked about her a lot. She's a really good friend of mine here on YouTube. Her channel name is Kelly's Corner, but she just did a mobile home makeover in her bathroom and she actually styled this lamp on her vanity and it turned out so cute. Um, so I was like, yes, that's my sign to go grab the lamp that I've been wanting. So I ended up getting it finally. Really, really like it. And I'm gonna try to use this on the built-ins actually to kind of just bring some warmth and light over to the corner. So that is the plan with that. I also got a runner. So this was $40. It's actually really great quality. Um, it's a little bit more than I would like want to spend on a runner, to be honest, because I can probably, you can find rugs like this so much more inexpensive at like TJ Maxx, Ross, um, Marshalls. They have really great washable rugs, if you didn't know. I have some in my kitchen and they're washable and they are, have held up really great. I've washed them multiple times, especially right now since we are in the puppy phase. But um, yeah, I wanted a, a, like a really long runner for right here in front of the door but something that was washable that also would like stick to the floor and not slide around because we will bust our tail on this tile floor. So I saw this one, um, it's machine washable. It's the uh, Persian Blooms. It's two and a half foot by seven foot. So it's very, very big. And I think it's gonna be really nice right here in this space to kind of help with some dirt and just kind of keep all, um, you know, that dirt traffic under control because we are definitely struggling right now with all this dirt out back. But um, it's fine. So look, this is what it, it's huge. I love it, love it, love it. So that's gonna go right there in front of the door and I love the print on this one. I think it's just absolutely stunning. It's gonna be really nice to help hide like stains too. So I ended up grabbing that. I got a new lamp for the living room. I love it. It's very unique. I haven't seen anybody style this lamp yet. If you have, let me know, but I have not. And I'm excited because I think it's just so beautiful. I think it's gonna be a really nice touch to the living room. Just kind of bring some character to the space. I love this lamp. This one's also from Walmart. It's really great, inexpensive lamp. I think it's like $44. So if you're looking for a lamp similar to this like shape and size, definitely check this one out. I'll link it below. But I just thought we'd change it up. I actually have been loving this lamp in my bedroom, but I took it back out because I needed to have a lamp in here because at night we love to have just the lamps on. We don't use like the overhead lighting. So I needed a new lamp um, so I could keep one lamp in my bedroom and one out here. So I ended up grabbing this one. It was on sale. I think it was like $54 on clearance. So we shall see. If it doesn't work out here, I'll definitely just use it in my bedroom. All right, so I also ended up getting this little bird. <laughs> and you're probably like, what the heck? So I don't know what it is about these like little birds. I love them. I have a couple, but they're smaller. And this one was $5 in the $5 and below section. And I'm actually gonna spray paint it and use it as decor on the shelf. I keep seeing these beautiful gold swans, but I can never find them at thrift stores. Everyone keeps finding these like really beautiful swans. And I love them. So I'm like, I'm going to create my own gold bird. <laughs> so I got this for five bucks to spray paint. And then uh, last thing, I ended up opening these last night because we needed some night lights in the house. So I put one in the bathroom and then I also put one right here in the hallway. So that way we have some light so we don't trip over dogs or toys or <laughs> anything like that. I really love these. These are really nice. And it was like $2 for a pack of two. So not bad at all. Um, I'll definitely link those below. I got some furniture sliders. These are gonna be for our coffee table. So we have furniture sliders under there now, but they're just like really dirty. I They were on there when I bought it and I never changed them out. So I'm gonna switch them to new ones. And then I got just a bag of paints, paint brushes, a tray for the paint. I plan on redoing my kitchen island. And yes, I'm going to DIY it because I'm too cheap to buy a new countertop. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I want to buy a new countertop. I want to actually buy a stone, like quartz or like something inexpensive, but just that's going to hold up and last a lot longer. However, we're right now we want to make sure that we get this building done first. And I actually wanted to rebuild our kitchen island. And someone suggested a while back to turn, make the kitchen island a little bit bigger and make it into a dog kennel as well. I think that's genius. Um, it's a great way because we don't really have a spot for our dog kennels. Our dogs are crate trained. They like to be in their houses. It's like their safe space. But I would love to have like a tuck away spot for the kennels. And I would love to just create a little bit of a bigger island. We have plenty of room for it. Um, so I think it would be really nice to do. And 
until then, we're just gonna stick with what we got and just make do with what we have on a budget. So I'm gonna re repaint the kitchen island again. <laughs> this will be like the 10th time I think we've redone it, but I don't care what anybody thinks. You know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, that's all the stuff that I got. Um, so let's get to decorating. So I got the rug set up. I really love it. I love the style of this runner. I think it's beautiful. It's just a hair too small. I truly thought that this would be perfect size. I even opened it up at Walmart, but you know, it's funny how you like think you know the size of your house until like you get home and it's like not right. <laughs> it's okay though. I'm gonna utilize it here. Um, it'll work for now. We're in that puppy phase, so we have no rugs in the house. This is like pretty much it and the one by the back door. So this will help keep some of that dirt traffic and stuff from coming in. But whenever I find something that fits a little bit better, I'll just use this one in the kitchen, I think would be really nice because it actually would fit perfect right over here. So anyway, that's what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna get this open. Instructions. Oh wait, that's right. So I decided to try it in here and I love it. I think it looks so cute. It's just different. I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna live with it for a little bit. Alright, so I'm outside now and I'm taking this vase that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance a few weeks back and I was going to use some stucco I had to kind of give the vase some texture but I accidentally left the lid open a little bit on the stucco somehow and it dried out. So I used grout and it worked great. So I got the grout all in place, let it dry for a little bit and then I went in with some bronze colored spray paint and I'm just going to give this a really nice coat. To be honest, I'm not really sure where I plan on using this vase at just yet. Probably on my kitchen island or something. I really love the size and the shape of it. This is like one of those pottery barn um, dupes right here. So I was really excited to find it on clearance for $14.99. And like I said earlier, with a quick coat of spray paint and just a little bit of a DIY, you can turn anything into something beautiful. 
Okay, so I'm about to paint my little bird here, and I've shared this hack a couple times, but if you're trying to get like an antique looking gold, and you don't want something just like bright gold, like this one for instance, this is the metallic gold Rust-Oleum. I love this spray paint, but it could be like a little too bright. So what I do is I take a dark spray paint, it could be really any dark color, it can be matte black, it can be this bronze color, just anything dark. You spray paint whatever it is you're painting gold, dark first, and before it has a chance to fully dry, then spray it with the metallic gold. See the light shining on the stage This is what I imagine every day Checking up in Jari Konga so Come and I had in car so can I can move your be at a jar you don't They say that I could fall Maybe I should let go the kids from school um I actually needed to take a break from working on the bookshelves anyway oh my gosh I was getting like stumped I nothing looked good and like sometimes you just gotta walk away from a project like that especially decorating like bookcases or any shelving in general sometimes you just got to stop what you're doing get fresh eyes on it later because um the more you change it like the more you're like, ah, no. <laughs> um, and that's why I love recording too, because I can look back at the videos and see moments where I'm like, oh, I love that there. And then I don't know why I changed it. I talk about that a lot, but that is a great tip if you are ever decorating a space. Set up your phone, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, you don't have to share on social media, but just set up your phone and record yourself. It helps so much when you look back at that footage to see like the different ideas and styles um, and how everything kind of looks together. So, um, definitely a good option, but here's the kids, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I can do it.
It looks so much better. What if sparks start flying? Nothing came on. Wait, it needs batteries. It needs batteries. <laughs> Alright, so we finally got the new thermostat on and it looks so much better. The old one was just so dingy because it was super old. Um, so it took a little bit longer than we expected. The little wires did not add up, so you had to like go through and match which one to the new one. It was a little bit more challenging than we expected. Thank goodness my husband's an electrician and he has patience for that kind of stuff. But then I worked on adding our smoke detectors and then switching out the little furniture sliders underneath the coffee table since the old ones were disgusting. So worked on that and then I'm going to vacuum the floors just because of moving everything around. There's a lot of dust and everything going on. So I wanted to get a good vacuum done and then I'll show you guys an overview of how everything turned out. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all an overview. What are you eating? Sir. <laughs> um, so here is how everything is looking. This over here, the planter, I love how it looks whenever the light comes in. Ah, oh, I'm just obsessed. So, got that. And then over here, this is how the living room turned out. Yes. All right, so I have to just end this video with a couple overviews and a voiceover, but um, this is how everything turned out. I think it looks really cozy and warm and just a little updated, just like a nice little refresh. Um, but let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.